This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, which is a one-of-a-kind handmade stainless steel model of a 65 mm motion picture film camera. It's a perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. Would you watch Snyder's Rebel Moon, shot entirely wide open, anamorphic T1.5, on a 70 mm projection? Zack Snyder's space adventure film, Rebel Moon, Part 1, A Child of Fire, will be running for one week in selected 70 mm theaters before debuting on Netflix. However, the question you should ask yourself is, if it's worth watching a film on a giant screen that was shot entirely on anamorphic T1.5? On the other hand, why not? We all remember Nolan's Oppenheimer, which was shot wide open using IMAX film cameras and was screened on 70 mm as well. The film was shot by Snyder on one of the first V-Raptor XL DSMC3 cameras, paired with specially made Zero Optic Summoscope Anamorphic Glass. That's a very fast anamorphic lens, T1.4, T1.5. Furthermore, Zach has mentioned that the speed of the anamorphic glass was well utilized. Similar to Army, Army of the Dead, Rebel was shot almost entirely on maximum aperture, which means wide open with an extremely shallow depth of field combined with a true anamorphic look. Snyder confirmed that Rebel and Army are part of the same universe, hence expect the look to be extreme too. Anybody who watched Army knows what to expect. That means a wide open aperture, a dreamy look, a lot of out of focus sequences, and tons of flares. That would be the opposite compared to conservative cinematographers like Roger Deakins, for instance, who can't stand flares. Additionally, Rebel Moon is the first movie that was shot with the V-Raptor XL camera, delivered specially to Snyder by Red Digital Cinema CEO Jared Land. There's not much info regarding those fascinating lenses. We know that the name is Summoscope, and it was developed by Zero Optic. Land claimed that those Summoscopes paired with the Raptor seem like a lethal combo. Unfortunately, Zero Optic didn't elaborate much due to a pretty strict NDA, but said, there's a doc coming about these lenses, so the details will eventually be very public. First, there's no doubt that Rebel Moon will own an extreme look, or as we called it, the Snyder look. Many audiences complained about the ultra-shallow depth of Field of Army, and now it seems that the imagery is even more edgy. Nevertheless, we'd be happy to watch Rebel on the huge canvas, especially if it's 70 millimeter. So imagine that, fast anamorphic glass, wide open, T-stop 1.4 all the way and with a lot of camera movements and action. Now get this on a big screen. Epicness or migraine? 